Um, our last thing that we went over was solving using the quadratic formula. And if you guys remember last class period, I did 12 examples. We were supposed to do 12 examples. And for all 12, for all 12 examples, you guys were supposed to follow a pattern. And that pattern was basically this. First thing you want to do is identify A, B, and C. Remember, A, B, and C comes from your standard form of your quadratic. So in this case, my A is 2, B is Three. C is 1. I thought that was the pretty the easiest part of the whole problem, right? Then the next thing that we did was we talked about identifying the discriminant. Now, you're not going to have to classify using the discriminant, but I would still recommend doing, finding the discriminant first. So the discriminant was b squared minus 4 times a times c. And all we did was plug in those values to find the discriminant. So I have 11 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 1. So 11 squared is 121 minus 4 times 2, which is 8. 4 times 2 times 1, which is 8. Therefore, I have 121 minus 8, which is 113. OK? Um, now, what we do is we take the rest of the quadratic formula, which I will provide to you, which is x equals opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Now, what I like about, the, what I like about finding the discriminant first is you guys see that the discriminant, I already did this work under the square root. All I need to do is plug in the opposite of b and a. So I have x equals opposite of b, which is negative 11, plus or minus the square root of 113, divided by 2 times a, which is 2. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we want to see, you know, can, 100, can you take the square root of 113? No. No. Is there any square numbers that evenly divide into 113? Yes. Yes. Four? Three. Three? Well, three is not a square number, though. We've got to be careful. Because remember, square numbers are numbers you can take the square root of. I'll list the square numbers. Square numbers, 1, 4, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64. 30 is not a square number. 81 is a square number, but it is. Is 113 divisible by 81? No. No. So. Guys, so your final answer, that's your final answer. You just leave it like that. You don't have to do anything further. Does that make sense?